like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's a different setup. Yes, I am in the bathroom. This video is kind of randomly coming about, but not so much because I was on Twitter recommending one product and I said, would you guys want to see like the whole shower body care routine? You said, yes, that's what I'm going to do. So if you guys want to know what I would recommend, what it's done for me, like why I like it, then let's go. Yeah, I want to have to do the whole, you know, like actually going through the motions and showering and stuff like that. Like y'all know how body wash works i'm gonna do that anything that needs instructions on how to use it i'll give them the best of my abilities but i'm just run through the products in the order that i use them first so the first thing i do when i'm you know, showering body routine this is from skin fix it's their resurface plus glycolic renewing scrub i use this about twice a week you guys might remember this from the sephora body care haul that i did when they had their vib sale a couple months ago it's actually Almost, I'm gonna have to get another one. But I use this about twice a week, and I really like this one because like, it's, it's a scrub, but it's not one that feels like you're actually removing layers of your skin. You know, like it scrubs enough to where you feel clean, but um, it's not so abrasive or anything like that, especially because I have very sensitive skin all over. Like if you watch the makeup videos, you know I've got sensitive uh, face skin, but like my, I have sensitive skin everywhere. So I have to be really mindful of that with the products that I use and you know, especially scrubs, stuff like that. So this is what I will start with. And then after that, I move on to my body wash, which actually, you know, that's a lot. I also don't do this every day, but when I do, I move on to this. This is what kind of birthed the idea of this video. I do my underarm detoxing. Now, if you saw the video a couple weeks ago, I did an Ulta haul where I bought a natural deodorant and natural deodorants are nice, but sometimes they leave you alone naturally funky okay i said that in the video um and i started getting comments saying well oh you should, you should uh try underarm detoxing before you start using a natural deodorant and i was like you just learn something new every day because i had no idea <laughs> what the comments were talking about when they said that but basically underarm detoxing is you using some type of detox product on your underarms before you start using a natural deodorant that's going to you know detox your underarm of the uh things that are in non-natural deodorants that are still there on your um, on your underarms before you start using a natural deodorant. Someone specifically, specifically recommended this Pacifica Coconut and uh, Charcoal Underarm Detox Scrub, Free Your Pits Charcoal and Green Tea. So um, I'll have like close-ups of all the products that I'm kind of far away from the camera. But basically open this up, um, use your fingers, stuff like that, just, I wanted to actually show I do saying things I need instructions I wanted to actually show like me detoxing this but I didn't think this through because I did this last night <laughs> and as you can see it's daytime so I didn't think it would be a good idea to detox that um that soon after doing it like seven hours later especially since I've already done it twice this week and again just like the body scrub this is something you keep to, well me uh to like two three times a week three might be pushing it um, so I don't want to do it again that quick, but it's really easy. Just scoop the product up, lift up your underarms, you know, go in a little circular motions, and then you clean that away, and then, uh, boom, just like that, you detoxed your underarms, and you go right in after you do, you know, the rest of your shower, um, go in with a natural deodorant, and I'm telling you, like, I have had no issues <laughs> with the natural deodorant that I've been using ever since then, um, I, you know, just go about my day. Like the most, you guys know I, I work out, so that's, I don't know, you could say the most physical type movement where I might really start sweating, sweating, but I still don't have any issues. Ooh, uh, as far as that natural, natural deodorant funk coming out since I started doing that, so highly recommend. And this is like easily found at Target, Ulta, um, if you want to pick this specific one up, but there are people who have recommended other ones. So just, you know, look into um, underarm detoxing in general if you don't want to check this out or see other options. Okay, so after that, we can finally move into cleaning the body. This is what I use for that. This is the Dove, ooh, I'm dripping a little bit. This is the Dove Sensitive Skin Hypoallergenic Gently Cleanses and Nourishes Skin for Sensitive Skin. Um, I feel like I used, the, you know the little like skinnier ones? It has like the darker blue lid. I know I used that like back in high school days. Then after that I moved on to, uh, what was it? 
caress i was using those when i was in college those are cute stuff like that the the caress ones especially like for the scent of those but one of the things i really like about this one is the scent because it just has like a clean scent that's what i'm going for nowadays just those clean i just yeah i feel like i cleaned myself the the passion fruit you know citrus that was cute when i was in college but like now you just add a perfume after you do the entire routine for that and like now i just want that nice clean scent and like i pointed out or like i read the title of this is the uh for sensitive skin i feel like this has helped with i don't have it that severe i guess as other people might have it but like back knee i do get that especially like when we're transitioning between seasons um i feel like it's helped with that um, it also helps with like, you know, nourishing the skin, hydrate, keeping it hydrated, moisturize it, stuff like that. And it's, it's, it's thick too. Yeah. I, I don't know if that actually like makes a difference, but, um, it feels like you, you in there scrubbing, it just feels like you're actually cleaning something. So this is the cleanser that I use for my entire body. I'm going to specify that because the one, I didn't want to drop that, like drop it, drop it on the floor. The one I use, um, no, that's not it. This is from the Honey Pot. This is their sensitive foaming wash. I don't know if you guys remember this brand, but basically they had like some type of video go viral of the owner talking about being, you know, a black owned brand and stuff like that. And then people got mad at that and started going to like Target, Google, wherever it's sold, giving them negative reviews, calling them racist just off that. Like, okay, but that's what made me uh, check out their products. They've got, you know, uh, tampons, pads, uh, very organic herbal type uh, stuff for their products. And this one is a foaming wash for that area down there. Cause you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm saying this just, just to make sure I make myself clear when saying it, you're not putting this product in because your vagina is, you know, self cleaning. Um, so j not just this, but like products in general, you know, all the like uh, cutting lemons and uh, pouring this and like, don't, don't have to be putting products in you, well, products don't be. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. It's the surrounding area that you're cleaning with this, and maybe it's just me. Like I'm noticing that as I sit here, maybe I just have a thing for thicker products because I think in my mind it's cleaning more or it's you know penetrating more. But um, it's also a little bit thicker of a wash, and uh, emphasizing the sensitive skin part so just uh wash all that down there as far as like smell anything like goes again a very you know just clean just how you're supposed to smell down there you know the whole uh smell like pineapple smell like this smell like that you no know, it's just very very clean just you cleaned yourself type of smell with this and then the last thing to wash in the shower are my feet you know especially in the winter you know it's mean when you get uh, under the covers in the winter with dry, ashy, cracked feet. How that, that, nah, I, I can't, can't do that. So, gotta wash my feet in the shower. I use this, what is this actually like called? This foot tool, let's just call it that. Um, but I like it because it's got two sides to it. So it's got this side, which is a lot rougher, um, a lot more abrasive to actually like scrub all over your foot, but not too, again, nothing too uh, hard because sensitive skin. Um, but get get a nice clean scrub on your feet and then you flip it over to the other side which is a little smoother but still you know like a little a little roughness there um to and smooth over uh, what you just scraped off with the other side on your foot while you're in the shower so like your foot has to already be wet uh before you start using this like using this on dry skin i'm pretty sure it hurt a lot oh but yeah i don't know i don't know what this is um, everything will be linked in the description down below. So after all that, now it's time to move on to the body. So especially after the um, underarm detox, I like to go in first thing with the deodorant. This is the deodorant I'm using right now. This is the one I showed in the Ulta video. It's from Kapari. It's their coastal deodorants, aluminum and baking soda free. Um, like I said, ever since I've been using the detox, I haven't had any issues, you know, with, uh, it being a natural deodorant and yeah, that natural deodorant type of must haven't had that, but I'm not going to say it's, you know, like the best natural deodorant since sliced bread. I did get a lot of people saying to check out the native deodorant. So after this one's uh, done, I might switch over to that one. But you know, again, as long as it's just a deodorant that's, that's going to work throughout the day, I'm not that picky on it, but this is the one that I'm using right now. And right now, you know, like no complaints 
on this. You might also remember this from my Sephora haul video. It is from Necessaire. It's their, ooh, it's their body serum. Also pretty much uh, almost out of this one. And I just think that, you know, Necessaire ain't necessarily that cheap of a brand. I think their stuff ranges like high 20s, 30s, 40s, something like that. I've tried their, um, body wash, their body exfoliant, and then this body serum. The body exfoliant is actually really nice. I would also recommend that as a body exfoliant if you're looking for one. I just kind of like this this uh, skin fix one better, um, but that's still a nice one. This is like the, the star product from the brand that I've tried so far, this body serum. I saw it when it first came out, I was like, oh, a body serum. What is that? Because we use serums on our face. But this is pretty much like it, like what you imagine when you're using serums on your face. This is pretty much what this does for the body. Leaves me really nice, hydrated. Like it feel again, it feels uh, your skin soft, all of that. And then this says to follow up with their moisturizer on your, just like you would uh, when you use serums on your face. You follow up with moisturizers after that. They have one. I didn't get that. I have one that I'll show you after this. But um. Yeah, this body a serum pretty much just you know does what you expect serums on your face to do to your body, and I'm not so sure if it's like this that I can uh, attribute like all the uh, like softness, but I did notice a softness came to my body after I started using it, so I can give it some of it. I don't know if I can give it all of it, but I can give it some of it. This is why I'm like I don't know if I can give like the the softness I feel on my skin all of that to the serum because. This bad boy right here. First of all, you see how big this thing is? Like, you put a dent in this, and it's really not even putting a dent. But mind you, it's jerking, so it's gonna be affordable, right? So it's like seven dollars for a brick that's gonna last you like two years. Um, but this right here, it's the Jergens Ultra Healing. Did I say the name? Is that necessary? I said the necessary body serum, right? Um, but this is the Jergens Ultra Healing Repairs and Heals Extra Dry Skin with Vitamin C, E, and B5 48 Hour Moisturizer. This is going to do what it has to do. Again, thick uh, lotion, which I really like, especially in the winter. But I would still like it in the uh, summer. But especially in the winter, the, this is a thick lotion. But it's not going to leave you feeling like I just put on a thick lotion especially like right before you go to bed and stuff like that but you feel moisturized you feel, and your skin starts looking a little glowy too like you didn't even ask for that which maybe that might be the serum but those two together okay i'm just gonna say the serum and this um body lotion moisturizer together um give you like a natural just kind of glowy moisturized vibrant looking skin and um it has the emphasis on dry skin uh if you're using this on your feet on, I don't know, anywhere that gets ashy, your elbows, stuff like that. Uh, after time, like you'll notice, like it's it's not as naturally, but not, it's not gonna be ashy in general. It's also uh, not going to get ashy or dry quickly. You see what I'm saying there? Um, and the, the smell of this is also, again, a very clean smell, very, um, you know, just like, Actually, this one, it smells like you just, it's, just, it's fresh laundry. That's what this smell gives, which you're like, why do I want to smell like laundry? But it's just a clean smell and that's what I'm here for. Okay, so uh, this next product, you might look at it like, girl, you really, you really bought that? Yes, I really did. I was on Alta's website one day and I came across this Maylie's Be Tight Lift and Firm Booty Mask. And yeah, it's basically a lotion for your butt. Listen, I, I saw it, I read the description, I read some of the reviews that were there, and you know, no one was like, this is terrible, it doesn't do anything that it says, but it, it didn't say it was like the next thing since sliced bread, but it also didn't say that it was horrible. So I was like, throw it in the bag, see what it does. I, I like this. Um, now because it, has, it says it's a like lift and firm type of thing, there is a little like warm sensation uh, after you put it on your butt. It does get, you know, not less warm, but like when you first put it on because you're not used to stuff like that, or I would assume, you're not used to like some warm sensa sens sensation on your butt. You're like, oh, what is what's going on down there? But as time goes on, like your, your body just gets used to it. But no, I still feel a sensation there. Like if it's actually lifting and firming, I don't know. I'll leave you all to be the judge if you've seen my butt before and what it looks like now. Um, 
but I, I just like this one. I think this is also supposed to help with like any marks on your butt and just making your butt nice and soft, which I think it does. So I am letting you guys know that I use it in this video, right? I said you guys want a video on some gems that I've been using. This is one of my gems. If you want to pick it up, you can pick it up. If you don't, then you don't have to. But I'm letting you know that I use it. So I've got the body serum. I've got the moisturizer for my body. I have this for my feet. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Like y'all know, especially if you've been in the beauty community for like years and years, y'all know this is an OG. I actually thought Soap and Glory went out of business in a couple, not years, years, but maybe like 2019, whatever. I realized they were still being sold. And I was like, let me go ahead, stock up on this Heal Genius. This is actually like a new, new bottle because I was putting the stuff aside last night to film this video and I was like, where? Where's the bottle that I was already using? I can't find it, but it was pretty much done anyway. So I was like, let me just start using this one. But this is from Soap and Glory. It's their Heal Genius Foot Cream. Let me tell you. I don't know what they put in this, but they did what they had to do. As far as a foot cream, um, that's really just going to give you nice, soft, moisturized feet i'm talking like you you put that on your feet and down the street they can see how how hydrated just your feet are actually glowing after you use this on your feet especially if you put this on your feet and then sleep with socks on on top of it this is what when you wake up you 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 know what i can sell feet pics now that's what i can do after using this foot cream um like I said, it's an OG product, just been using it for years. That, those type of products where you just keep buying and buying and buying them over again, this is one of those. And the last thing I have is also an oldie, but a goodie. I don't know how many bottles of this I've already been through. And as you can see, I am almost out of this one. But this is from Juicy Couture, it is a fragrance. Um, and I used to have a bottle of this that was sitting in the back of my videos like years ago. And, uh, people would say, is that the Mariah Carey perfume? It's not. I don't know what that one looks like. I'm assuming they look similar, but no. This is from Juicy Couture, um, but this is just a uh, bedtime scent for me. I don't wear this anywhere else but to go to bed. Again, I think as I'm getting a little older, I don't know, I think I'm just digging that whole, I just like to smell clean, like clean scents um, and stuff like that. What did I just say? Scent? sense anyway um but like right before bed like, you know it's not, not a problem to smell a little little juicy there this has that kind of uh how do i describe that it has a little sweetness to it i feel like i smell a little marshmallow now that i'm thinking about it um ooh, a little citrusy that's what i'm thinking uh but i spray that right before bed and then you know next morning uh, during the day type scents you can pick from your collection like anything else that you want to smell but like this Specifically, I just want to smell like this when I'm going to bed and yeah y'all that is it for my shower Body care routine. I hope you know I have put you on to something that might help you something that you're like Oh, I see that that's going to help with this and that's what I've been looking for So let me go ahead check that out Let me know what are some of your favorite body care products that you would recommend in the comments down below uh and yeah make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe turn notification bells all of that down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>